Hey, welcome everybody. It's Robin here. Thank you for joining me once again on Oracle Rising. So guys, I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about moon phases and how this can affect your spiritual and your physical practices as you move through life. Uh, I'm going to talk about things that can definitely enhance you on your path forward. So uh, because the moon is so incredibly complex and is constantly evolving in her phases. I'm going to focus on the four main phases. Uh, so it's really relatable and it's not too overwhelming. Um, <clears throat> something that might come in helpful for you after watching this video is to find yourself a moon phase tracker. I have one and I've saved it to my favorites on my browser so I can just check what's going on with the moon. Of course you can see it but you might not always be awake to catch the whatever phase it's in and then focus on that particular practice that is associated with the phase of the moon. Okay so that's a really good tip. You could mark it in your calendar. So <clears throat> These phases occur about every seven days. So this is not gonna be an overwhelming practice that you have to dedicate 50% of your life to. All these practices can be as extensive as you want them to be or as minimal, okay? I think the important thing when it comes to, you know, moving forward in your life and practicing your spirituality is consistency, okay? And, and doing whatever is most comfortable for you. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing for themselves. I mean, it's great for them, but you don't have to emulate that to the point of it not making sense for you. So I'm going to talk about the new moon first. So something I should mention, um, I do new and full moon readings on this channel as they occur, like usually a few days in advance to try to capture that energy and what we should be made aware of. So that's one of my spiritual practices. So for the new moon, this is a really good time to document your intentions, okay? So you can have glimmers of ideas, you could have things that you wanna chase in your life, but are you writing them down so that you don't forget about them? You know, even you, if you could speak yourself a voice memo, like if you're out and about and you're not able to uh, effectively track something, and this is something that you might wanna get is, like I have a zillion notebooks all around me and I use them for different purposes, okay? So you could have an intention journal and your intention could just be, I intend to be more calm or I intend to set better boundaries or I intend to be a millionaire or whatever it is, okay? So setting your intentions under the new moon is the perfect match for the energy and so is a focus on manifestation. So. I have an affirmations diary. I have a manifestation diary. <laughs> like really, I have them for all these separate things. I have like 10 notebooks stacked to my right here and I use them all the time and I go and I look at them and refer to them, you know? So focusing on manifesting could be just really doing manifestation chants. There's all kinds of them on YouTube. If you guys are not sure how to do any of these things, I'm gonna elaborate as best as I can, but you can always do a quick web search or find a YouTube tutorial that would work for you, okay? And starting something new. It is the new moon, okay? So um, it is the perfect time to match that energy for something happening for you. This could be the perfect time for you to start that new intention journal and then to keep on going with it. Uh, the new moon, just so you guys know, it is when the moon, you can still see it, but there's no reflective surfaces on it, okay? So it looks completely dark. There is something about the moon that I wanted to relate to you because it's always in different phases. It can be in shadow, it can be in eclipse, it can be in different zodiac signs, you know? So um, something that I heard a long time ago really resonated for me is that, you know, the moon is always whole. It's always there regardless of what phase it's in. So. You could be really having a peak moment in your life or you could be a disastrous hot mess, you know, but you're always whole. You're just evolving through phases until you become full again. So never forget that, okay? So 
that might be a really good thing to remind yourself if you're ever going through a hard time is that this is just a phase that I'm going through and I will be whole again. And you can just maybe go and look at the moon or do a new moon ritual to help you out with that. So some of the rituals, I have a couple here for you guys because it is the new moon. A spiritual practice could be for you to create or just go and visit your sacred space, okay? So your sacred space could be indoors or outdoors. Um, you know, it could be under a tree or you could have an altar in your home or your sacred space could be your bathtub where you have a really like delicious bubble bath. This is also a good time to update your vision board or create one if you do not have one yet, okay? And vision boards are just brilliant to have because it's kind of like this subliminal thing in your home um, where you're always taking note of everything that you want in your life um, that you have targeted on manifesting and it's there, you always see it. So put it someplace prominent or meaningful, okay? So we're gonna talk about the first quarter, okay? So this always reminds me of a football game, right? So the first quarter, you're just kicking off. This is time to take affirmative action forward in your life, whatever that might be, okay? So if you miss the new moon, you didn't get your journal started. Okay, so the first quarter, it happens about seven days after the new moon. It is time to really start saying, okay, yeah, this is my action plan. I'm definitely going to do it this time. And if you don't do it that day, do it the next day, okay? Don't give up on yourself. And taking leaps of faith. So for me, what comes to mind is, you know, if somebody new asks you out, you know, if you're single and you're just oh, a little bit nervous about going out with them, just go for it. You know, you might have fun. You might have a great time and you might have to storm out of a coffee shop in a rage, but whatever, at least you tried, right? So do something that requires you to sort of get over a little bit of a hurdle um, of fear, okay? So if you wanna start doing something new in your business practice, like I know for a lot of people that um, I'm friends with that are tarot card readers, they don't wanna do a YouTube channel because they're afraid of, um, you know, the camera and stuff like that. So, I mean, just go for it, just try it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You can crash and burn or you could do really, really well. So it's 50-50 really. So on the spiritual side of it, operating in breath work, okay? So breath work is an intentional practice of like timing your breath basically, like counting, an inhale for a breath, a count of four or six or eight or however good you are at holding your breath, hold it at the top for the same amount of uh, beats, breathing out and then holding it at the bottom of your breath for the same amount of beats, okay? It just, what really matters is your patience and kindness with yourself while you do this and that everything sort of matches. So you can do that while you're meditating, you can do it while you're driving, you know, um, just don't close your eyes. You can do it while you're walking, you know, this is not just restricted to sitting down in a deeply intentional state, although that is probably the best way. And the first quarter moon is also a really good time to focus on chakra cleansing, okay? So this could be through setting intentions to reduce, you know, things that are not so fabulous in your diet, maybe finally taking steps to stop consuming fluoride, um, <clears throat> meditations, qigong, you know, tons and tons of different ways to do chakra cleansing. So you just have to figure out what works for you. What works for me might not work for the collective and that's why we're so lucky to have so many options. Okay, so full moon, purging and cleansing. Under the full moon, do a tidy out, donate clothes, you know, vacuum, do whatever you've got to do, okay? Purging, just what is not working in your life, in your home anymore. Could be a really good time to update your friends list. You know, it's okay to remove people or block them without explanation. This is your life. You need to have the people in it that matter to you the most. And if they're annoying or you're just not a match for their energy, it's okay. It's you and your friends and you can do whatever you want with it, okay? So 
reviewing and assessing. <clears throat> this is why journaling I find is so important because you can flip back and, and say, oh, I didn't really start that. Is this something that I still wanna go into? You know, Is this where I am? Is this who I am right now? Angel number 1010 just came up, you guys. It's okay to constantly change your course to match where your energy is, you know, as long as you keep to, I guess, basically a few key things in your life that you're trying to accomplish or, you know what I mean? Everything else is negotiable. Hold on. So the full moons is also a really good time for you to take note of the rewards that you have achieved for yourself, the things that you have actually accomplished, okay? So it's it's really important to track those things too, even if it's like, <clears throat> I got out of bed and showered today, you know? I did my workout for three days straight and I'm really proud of myself. So always give yourself the pat on the back because you can't expect other people to do it for you, okay? so some spiritual practices the full moon is a really great time to do extended meditations um, if you do have access to outdoor weather that is not like if it's a nice night out you know you could d go do um a full moon meditation outside you could charge water outside to get full moon water you could charge your crystals and your divination tools angel number 1133 just rolled by okay so if you have to do things indoors until summer rolls around that's completely cool you can use your windowsill ledge to do you like line up your crystals and tarot card decks and your pendulums and whatever else you got going on out there so that they can recharge under the full moon, okay? And full moon water, I know a lot of people like to do stuff like that, but uh, you know, um, not me, it's not my thing. So whatever works for you, you don't have to go by what works for me. This is why I'm giving you so many options, so hope that hopefully something appeals. And if you think I've missed something, go ahead and throw it into the comments, okay? So on the last quarter, okay, this is a really good time to do a gratitude practice, you know, like something really solid instead of just saying, uh, I'm grateful, you know, like really, really pay attention to this. Pay attention to your gratitude journal, um, you know, maybe do an extended gratitude meditation or just sit and say thank you. Um, sometimes when I walk Lacey, although it's been too cold lately, I just make sure that every step I take is, it goes to the beat of thank you, okay? So you can incorporate that. And this is the ideal phase of the mo of the moon to really focus on your gratitude practice um, and celebrating yourself, okay? So, and the spiritual practices with, sorry, I'm stumbling over my words, you guys, um, is the spiritual practice is to really intentionally remember that you are connected to universal consciousness, okay? You are not alone. You are part of this massive tribe of spiritual beings, even though right now we are disconnected through our human bodies. So really get in touch with that, you know? Uh, that's why I love YouTube so much, because if you wanna do any type of meditation, yoga, qigong, any type of practice, you need some steps to do it, you wanna practice along with the community, you can just go search it and then there's this really convenient video and it'll guide you through, okay? So the moon is so powerful, she's so complex and she offers so much inspiration and energy to the collective. So hopefully this helps you round out your practice or amp it up a little bit uh so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up again leave me some comments you guys remember to like share and subscribe um and also yeah just make sure that you are hitting the notification bell so that you can um be alerted whenever i do the new and full moon readings because i find they're really integral uh to capture energy okay anyway i've been blah 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 so i'm gonna let you guys go with love and light namaste bye <laughs>